So here I am in game, and as you can see, this is just phenomenal what this normal map has done. Look at the detail on the scene there. It came out uh, really, really well. Now, again, I could have spent some more time on the alpha to make those scales come out better, but this actually turned out really well. All of that detail, I mean, this thing looks thick. It looks rich, like there's volume to it. Um, it's just really nice how much volume it looks the way this normal map does all the detail for us so we can take that low polygon mesh and put it in the game put this high quality normal map on it and now it's it just looks real you know just that's that's just what these normal maps can do it's it's amazing when you get a high quality normal map what you can do with it now cloth is a lot better like if you look at the cloth any kind of cloth things do like wrinkles those always turn out exceptionally well like that it looks like it's dipping in like there's a seam there but you know from the mesh this is completely flat there is nothing there you can take a completely flat mesh like if you take a look at this uh this is another one of my pieces look how there's so much detail that there's seams it looks like it kind of dips in and it looks like a high quality mesh but <laughs> It'd blow your mind if you actually take a look at that and then you go in and you look at the model and boom, it's flat, plain, simple, boring, nothing there. But as you've seen in game what that normal map did, it's just wow what you can do with these things. Anyhow, I wanted to show you how you can use a script by Thiru to create a weight slider for your armors with just, uh, I mean, it's just a matter of seconds in order to do it super, super easy. Uh, to create weight sliders for your armor using the script. So I wanted to slip this in at the end of uh, this tutorial about the high polygon to low polygon normals. Anyways, it's called the Female Automorph Tool 3D Max. It's by Thiru. You can just Google for it or search the Skyrim Nexus for it. It's pretty easy to find. And you want to go ahead and grab one of these files. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just grab the Automorph UMP 3D Max. Uh, I'm, if if your body type is not in here, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to set it up so it works with your body type. All right, so just go ahead and click it, download it, and go ahead and open it. Because so we're not actually going to use the files that he provides. We're going to create one of our own for our own body type. Because this will work for any body type provided the body type has a weight slide. Basically, you can just come in here, and as soon as you have it downloaded, open up Startup. And what we want to do is just drag this inside of our Startup folder. So your startup will be in your install directory for Autodesk, and then you go to Autodesk 3ds Max 2012 Scripts Startup, and you just want to go ahead and drag that in there and drop it. All right, and then you can go ahead and just close this. And I'm going to have to restart 3ds Max, so it starts with the script in there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I want to go ahead and open up the uh, Autodesk 3ds Max 2012. Give it a second to load up. Now you have your script in here and it's loading with the startup, but now what we're going to have to do is set this up so we can use it. So first thing we're going to do is file, import, and you're going to go and import the zero, underscore zero body of your uh, body types. So whatever your body type is called, you wanna, you know, it doesn't matter what body type it is, you just import the underscore zero with the skeleton, select import. And we just got to make a couple of changes. So we're going to go into modify. We're going to take the slim push-up UMP. We're going to ch change the name of this to Morph Mother. It has to be called Morph Mother, all lowercase letters. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the BS Dismember Skin Modifier. We're going to right-click. We're just going to delete that. And we're going to drop down the modifier list. And we're going to go down and we're going to select a modifier called Morpher. All right. Now we need to add something for this to morph to. So we're going to drop this down, go to import, and import the underscore one, which is the maximum size body type. Go ahead and import it, deselect this, and import it. And now reselect your morph mother that we just renamed. Select morpher. Pick object from the scene and click on your upper, your underscore one. Now if you notice, if I take the large body and I hide the selection, and I take the morph mother body and I take this right here and I just drag that up. Notice it's morphing to that other body, underscore one. So I need to go ahead and set that to zero, take the body, right click, hide selection. So if I right click and I 
unhide all, it's both the large body, hide selection, and the small body with the morpher set to it, hide it. All right, so now what we need to do is get that button on our bar here, which you can see I've already done. I'm just going to add it again for you guys. Just right click up here, select customize. Anywhere in this area, just right click and select customize. You're going to go down here in the menu I in the category. You'll probably have something like all commands selected. Just drop down from all commands, find female morph UMP exclamation mark or female morph, whichever one you download it, and then select morphs and go ahead and just basically middle mouse button or I'm sorry left left mouse button click it and just drag it you can pretty much drag it anywhere it'll let you which up here I guess is the only place and just drop it somewhere up here I, I usually drop mine on the far right hand side so this is it right here that's it right there and once you've done that you can go ahead and close this now what we want to do is save this scene so we can use this anytime we want because this is our base scene. So I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to save this as 01. And I'm just going to call this tutorial because I already have files for this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now after that's saved, what we need to do is import whatever it is that we want to create a weight slider for. So I'm going to file, I'm going to select import. And I'm going to go to my disassemble and select that upper chest we created. So the upper chest uh, two underscore zero, or actually it's the two underscore one, B two underscore one. And I'm going to pretend like I don't have a um, weight slider for this yet. And I'm just going to go ahead and import. You don't need a skeleton because you already have one. So just select import. And first thing you want to do is right click and convert it to an editable poly. Don't worry about the skin. Okay, because we're going to take care of that in a minute. So I convert it to an editable poly. I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, ears will be this one. It'll say in, something in female morph. Just select that. First button you press is merge morpher. All right, you always step one, you press that button. Then we got to select set starting body. All right, well, this is set up for my underscore one of my body type. So if you created your armor based on your underscore one body, like you made your armor around that and you need to make the underscore zero version of it, then you'd select the heavy. But if it's like the other, like you sculpted your armor around the underscore zero, like this is made, the one that's there right now is made for the underscore zero and you wanted to make the underscore one, you'd have to select light. Since this is made for the large version of my body type, I'm going to select heavy. Now we have to assign the modifier. So first we got to do is we got to pick this modifier. And before we select add modifiers, the next thing we have to do is we have to drop this down and click on edit poly. So there's a modifier in here and you just select edit poly. So it needs to be either editable mesh or editable poly. And then a modifier has to be edit poly above it. All right, you have to select that modifier and add it to it, edit poly. And then once you've done that, go ahead and click Add Modifiers. Let it do its thing. And you go ahead and drag and select all and then deselect this. Now we have to export both the light and the heavy. Now watch what happens. If I select the heavy, it, nothing changes because it was already the heavy. Because remember, that's where we started. But if I select the light, look what just happened. It created the weight slider for me. And nothing I didn't have to do nothing now this really only works well for skin tight armors if it's not skin tight and there's pieces kind of sticking out from the body from the armor it's not gonna work well for you it's gonna bug out you're gonna have issues so I really don't recommend doing this um, first for one if you're worried about losing your uh, smooth modifiers or anything of that matter then you don't want to use this because it kind of eats your smooth modifiers because edit poly pretty much destroys smooth modifiers but this is a really neat script if you want to create your weight slider simple there's no smooth modifier that you're worried about and um, again you have to export both because this does change your topology a bit it changes your vertice count so I'm going to go ahead and export the light first we're just going to click export go to custom body armors and then go to my disassembled change it to a NIF. now I made a copy of the one that I already did my weight painting for so you're gonna want to do that too before you save over your versions because we're gonna paste that skin onto our other version so I'm gonna go ahead and save this as my underscore zero yes to replace go ahead and delete that 
And then I'm going to select the heavy, make sure it looks heavy here, and then click export and drop down and select the B2 underscore one, which is the large version. And I have a weight slider now, very simply and quick. Now, if you have custom weights and you wanna transfer those weights back over to the weight slider, what you have to do is select new, and I'm gonna go ahead and import the B2 underscore zero, which is my original with the correct skin on it. All right, and I usually change the names here so I can identify. This is the original, so underscore O for original. And I'm also gonna import the underscore zero. Uh, don't need the skeleton. I'm just gonna change this to underscore S and I'm gonna file and I'm gonna import the underscore one. Open this and import it. And I'm gonna change this to underscore L for large. Now I gotta I gotta reset the animation. So I'm going to export this. I'm gonna file, I'm gonna export all three of them together as AAA temp, just some temporary NIF file. And then I'm gonna file new and I'm gonna import them all together so I can reset that animation just in case because sometimes it causes bugs. So now what I got to do is just very simple is copy the skin and the BS sliding shader property over from the original onto my new weight slided version, which is simple and then export both the small and the large. So if I can ever select my O. So I'm going to right click, convert this to editable mesh. I'm going to select my S, right click, convert it to an editable mesh. And then all I got to do is just select my O which is my original, copy the skin from it, right click, paste it onto the L, paste it onto the S, and right click, copy the BS dismember. I can delete the original because I got the BS dismember, and I'll paste it on both the L and the S. And make sure you recheck your polygons uh, with the BS dismember. And you just paste it on both. Now they have the same skin and the same BS dismembers. So first thing I'll do is I'll right click, I'll hide my large and I'll re-export my small to the B2 underscore zero, save, yes. And unhide all and I'll hide my small. And I'll go ahead and export the underscore L. So the underscore one rather. Click save, replace, delete those three and export. And naturally, of course, you'll have to fix your textures and all that. But I mean, I just made that weight slider for this in a matter of seconds. And it's like super easy. But again, it really only works with uh, skin tight clothing. If it's not skin, you get you got to try to see if it works with it. If it doesn't, you'll have to you know do the weight slider by hand, the old school way. But I've I've used this script to do buttloads of them and you kind of because we save that as a max script you just select new no anytime you need to create a weight slider for something that's skin tight you just open up your morpher for your body type and there you go and then just import it and do what i just showed you to do well, anyways i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short little tutorial series about how to you know uh, take a high poly mesh and put it onto a low poly mesh through projection I hope you get a lot of use out of it, and I'll see you guys for the next tutorial video whenever I get around to doing that one. Anyways, have fun, guys.